Hey guys, welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Hey everybody. Where we're still rocking the shades. Oh baby, you got rocking yeah. them. Yeah. I wish I could do the, uh, what's that like, CSI Miami or whatever oh, it's okay. called. Oh, the, 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 like the, where the, where no, the guy like, on. well it looks like this shepherd lost its flock. Yeah! <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Yeah, right. So this is this is the dangerous monster that killed everybody. Do you want to oh, fight it? Why are we gonna really? die? I thought you said we're gonna die. Let's do it. <laughs> no dose. That thing Wait, looks what? a little scary. Oh god. Man, I got our. Oh my god! Merge, merge, merge. Oh my god! Nah, man, we'll merge after one of us dies. Uh, hey, my hits are doing like nothing to it. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the little guy. I don't oh. have arts, do I? Oh, I'm dead. We're gonna arbitize. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I am so dead. Why did we do this? Uh, I said we should. Have a point, I guess? Hey, look, I'm dead. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh you have one. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, that's. Oh. Wait, we didn't save at the fucking what, river. You skipped over it. What? I thought I did. No, you didn't. You walked into. We're gonna. We'll pause. be right back. Bye. Okay, so I did save. Thank you, Cujo. I knew what we were getting. <laughs> well, let's talk about the game design by having this enemy sitting here out in the so, open. So that fight was hard, but it looks like it won't attack you. No, that's the interesting which thing. Which is no, which is nice because if you had to beat that, I you'd have to grind. Yeah, yeah. You and, have to and grind. Actually, I, I was talking to Covert. Covert, if you guys on the show don't know, um, is one of the programmers on the Affinity Archives team. Covert! And I guess if you don't know what Affinity Archives is, that's us. Covert! It's like the company as a whole. We're in the archives! Um, but Co uh, Covert's been playing this game too, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's been talking about it. And, that's right. Yeah, and he's, he's been chatting Yeah, he's been chatting with both of us about mm -hmm. it. And uh, he was telling me that on, on hard mode, because we're playing in normal mode just because we don't want to spend too much time grinding, um, he was telling me that hard mode sort of kind of requires it because you earn less XP, but you get better equipment drops. Oh! That was yeah. a weird O. Oh. Like, that was oh. a weird O. Oh. Um, but it's it's interesting because the boss battles can be, or the tough battles, like semi-boss battles, I sure. guess, can be so tough that it's basically impossible unless you do grind, and grinding is less effective because you earn less XP. <laughs> less XP. That's, that is a... That's a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, it, it really makes me wonder what the design philosophy was for making hard mode. Just to make you cry. <laughs> I feel like tears are generally what the hard modes are for. Maybe. I mean, I see, in my playthrough, I've, I've had some boss battles even on normal mode where I was like, this is really, really hard. I'm happy that I don't mind grinding because I... I just do it because I like to fight things. Oh, why am I going the wrong way? Oh, it's I see. If by pushing up, you always run toward the enemy. <coughs> by pushing toward... down, you run away. Wait, it's yeah. it's counterintuitive until you get used to it. Yeah, I'm um, not used to it yet because this is my first time with the controller. Oh, my God. I'm you, playing. You got it last episode. No, I did this not. This is now your second. Yeah, you did. Oh, last episode. You're right. Sorry. Where you been, man? Dude, I don't know. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm not though. I'm nothing. I'm Tony. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Another conversation I. Oh, actually, hold on. This is going to lead to a cutscene. A bow. It looks like it's just ceremonial. This bow is a divine artifact. A what? Oh, right. Hold on. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah, like Lila's Sacred Blade. The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh, and that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey, does this mean that I can use your Sacred Blade to armatize with other Seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sub? I feel... 
like Lila has like this whole like pyramid scheme going on, being like, "Dude, I'm the Lord." But like, if you become my sub lord, that's exactly what. And it then is. if if you get more people to be sub lords, you get more power, which then goes back to me. So I don't know if I've talked about this on the show yet. I don't remember. So sorry if I'm repeating myself. But I don't trust Lila. I think she's There's a conniving, something. conniving character. She keeps on saying, "Oh, make him train under me. It's fine. Make him my sub lord." And like, she's she just has this pact that doesn't let her talk about certain things yeah. and it's like she's gonna screw us over in the Tales games there's usually one character there's that betrays one you character. and I think it's gonna be her especially because she's the reason we have power Yeah, and right. one thing that happens in a lot of Tales games is that they strip you of your power it happened in Symphonia when they were like suddenly you can't use these uh, uh, well you're back down to your base weapons or whatever right no yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. something happened with the, the orb things while. right yeah yup um and then you're like, well, shit, now Dude. I gotta figure out how to fight a different way. Uh, and she whispered and nothing came out. That is like the well, she, she key side <laughs> evil. She whispered to Saray in the last <coughs> episode, and we we as the players couldn't hear what it what she like, was saying. Which is baloney. Which is, you are Saray. Well, Saray. yes and no. I mean, I feel like there isn't oh God, much reason to give Saray information and withhold it from the player. Mm, look how serious they look in that shot. They're all like, yeah, we killed <laughs> shit. Huh, we good. No big deal. Um, how do you target better? How do you switch targets? Okay, uh, we'll right jump bumper. into this the older fight. Bumper. Yeah, if you hold the right bumper, it will kind of go into this pause menu and you can choose a new target. Okay, so if I do that, okay, good. All right. And you know that um, yeah. B is your like martial arts and then a or yeah, I think it's A on your controllers. A is also that's like your mystic power. What's your base attack? It's just a B, right? Yeah, B is your base attack, which are martial arts, but everything oh. consumes SP. So if you just spam buttons, you're going to use up all your SP and then you're only going to be able to attack slowly. Oh, that's why. Okay. The the combat system in this game is a <coughs> lot more uh, it requires a lot more attention Which is than the last. Which is nice. It's it's kind of nice, right? I I think it, it adds helps something new. It, and it helps discourage the spamming. Yeah, just about, I'm gonna keep hitting B. It's, I mean, it's not totally gone, right? No. Um, because I still what tend to be- What are those little worm things? They're just worms. They're, they're leeches, apparently. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I still spam a bit, but- well, So it's got a basic attack out there. It basically means you have to pay attention to your SP gauge while you're spamming, so that, um, you, you know, like, holding the right trigger tri gives you the free range motion, right? I think it's left trigger. Left trigger, that would explain why I can't do anything. Yes. I mean, I can do things, but. Yeah, so, I mean, I overall, I actually really like the combat system, and it's so fast paced that I. That's why I don't mind grinding as much. In right, because it's an interesting combat system. That's the thing I was reading in a lot of reviews was that there was a lot of good things being talked about for the combat system. Mm hmm. Yeah, as far as I know, most reviewers think that this is, like, the game's redeeming quality. Oh, uh, what um, is going on? <laughs> cameras are not, are so not the redeeming quality. But that's one good thing about the, um, the like, push forward to run to your target right. thing is that at least you always can find your target as long yeah. as you're using that system. It's, I mean, not perfect. Not but, perfect, but it's something. Yeah. It's kind of nice to be, like, playing. I feel like a real person now. Yeah, well, just wait till Alicia gets taken away from us. Oh, uh, why do you say things <laughs> to make me... Well, okay, Alicia goes, now I'll get someone cooler. It'll be fine. Yeah, about that. There's no one cooler than Alicia. Other than the one character you saw when we accidentally loaded the wrong file. I didn't see that character, really, though. I wasn't paying much attention. What? W where? <sighs> Above. I can see it. Don't. It's poisonous. Stop. <laughs> Lila, get back. Okay. That was me, Oma. So should I <laughs> not attack? <laughs> Lila, get back. Armatize with me. Well, okay. It's like don't attack these things, but now it's like I should probably attack these things. Hold on, I need to switch my target. Uh... I think we need to. Their weakness is water. I think that's water. How yeah. many of them are there? What is the one I need to tag? This one? The resistance against fire and something else. Which is unfortunate that I've armatized because now I'm... Giving an extra Um, 
I'm not... Oh, but that's actually the whole point. I'm gonna come to this target I'm with you. I'm not doing all that much. So... You're actually doing a lot more than he is. Yeah, because you have a non-elemental attack. Oh, right. I think this is supposed to teach us, like, this has... The armatizing isn't always the way to go. Well, that, and it, it teaches us about the elements, too, because I don't know... Uh, oh, no, you're not almost... I don't know oh. if there has been so much thus far that has really, like, forced us to learn about the elements. No. Um, no. I, I actually really like that they do... Oh, well, now it's done. I do like that they do tell us what their resistances and weaknesses yeah. are just from, like, switching target. I think that's very... Without needing, like, <coughs> a magical lens or whatever. Right, exactly. Or spending, like, a battle action to do so. Because right. now... I feel like I'm a lot more likely to engage with the elemental system because it doesn't take any effort nor does it give a consequence. What? Oh. Don't be a bitch, Miklio. Come on. Or Pancreas. <laughs> you know, to be totally honest, when I first played this game, I thought that Miklio was going to go off and become a lord all on his own. That'd be way cooler if he's like, hey, guess what? But what do you think is going to happen when Lila betrays us? Mikleo's going to have to make a choice. He's No, he'll totally become his own lord. Oh, but he'll be like yeah. an independent lord. A ronin, if you will. Ooh, I guess that people. doesn't and technically make sense. Really. And look how Lila's all like, oh, wait, are you sure you want to do it? And she's like, fucking do it, man. Do you like how how quickly Sarek came around to? He's like, no, no, it wasn't quickly at all. Well, he was like, no, Mikleo, don't do this. And then Mikleo was like, dude, no, I'm doing this. And then he was like, oh, okay, let's do this. No, actually, that was not the case at all. If you remember, he left. No, I'm and talking was about gone this for, here. Yeah, this this right, cutscene, this... Mikleo goes, dude, get the fuck over yourself. I want to help you deal with it. Wasn't a nobody will really do this. Like it, that, I actually think was written very well. Saray did protest though. He's he did. Like he no. did, and then Mickley was like, "Dude, I don't give a shit. I'm doing this whether you want me to or not." Oh, we're fighting. Wait, there are four people on the field now. Oh yeah, Mickley on now. Armatize with left bumper. I think that might be you. Oh no, I'm armatizing with Mickley. Oh yeah, I can armatize with anybody, can I? No. Not yet. And do you notice how the bow and arrow is blue and silver, and Miklio's colors are like a teal and silver? So Miklio and Sarai's, um armatization, I think, is probably the best. I did so, that on purpose. Yeah, I mean, at least so far as I've seen, and it's because wow, this camera. I I, wish this is a, awful. I'm just like sitting here, like I can got it. See, I'm Ooh. gonna change targets. Well, Maybe a lot of them are almost dead. There we go. Okay, yeah. So. Um, Mikleo's armatization is really powerful because it has ranged attacks. I've actually killed bosses that I was way under level for just because I was able to like shoot them from afar, run away, recharge my SP, and then yeah, shoot right, them right, down right, some more. And then more. be like, all right, good. It took like 15 minutes. But... Right. Now that you mention it, it just came off. I wonder why. Does it, does it really matter? Besides, this means that I can now use the Armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why you couldn't take it off before. Mikleo, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. After all, I merely did this for my own dream. I know that. I feel oddly envious. Agreed. Alicia, don't tell me! Yes, not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. No way! You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. Oh, Alicia can see them now. Oh, yeah. Well, I think Alicia was able to see it after she, nope. like, didn't really. Uh, yeah, I should have I should have specified that um, at some point, because... If you notice, whenever Alicia was still was talking to the Seraphim, she would still hold uh, Surrey's oh, hand. Surrey's hand. I thought she just liked him. <laughs> I mean, that too. She but... wants some Surrey in her bootay. Oh, man. Ooh, did I go over there? Uh, butt that sex. Was... <laughs> oh, my God. This is why you added me on to this, to say stupid things. Pretty much, yeah. Because I'm that, dumb. <laughs> and with that... 
That is all for this episode of Game Devs Play Games. Yeah. You wanna know why this is all? Because I totally forgot to set the timer after we paused. I anyway, that too. Uh, we will see you next time where we get to toy around with armatizing with both McLeo and uh, Lila separately, obviously. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll store our cool shades. Oh wait, we need to do one other thing. <coughs> Give, oh yeah, you, know, you gotta give him sunglasses. Yeah, boy. Baby. Wait, can I, can I zoom in? Wait, I wanna, come on, let me look at him up close. Up closer. And large. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Ready to destroy it. Every Q and pause, and anytime Mikleo spawns, he's like 300. Yeah, times. right? He's like, fuck, oh, Mikleo! <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye! That's That was a bit too much. <laughs> Tony, congratulations, you rotated the light to make you the only thing you <laughs> <laughs>